Uh, Blossom, a little help here? Ah! Well, at least I don't have to think about presents again for a whole year. So, Ruffy, what you getting your grandma for Grandparents Day? Grandparents Day? This Sunday, if you were a good grandson. Oh, Grandparents Day, of course, in fact. Uh, I have your present right here. <laughs> you giving me an artichoke? <laughs> your very first present to me was an artichoke. I was so moved I had it bronzed. That was the day we made lentil soup together. We played checkers with my parakeet, Jerry Geranium. Ah, King me, puppy! And we went on the local roller coaster 12 times till you got sick. I guess an artichoke's a really good gift then. No, no, it's not gonna cut it this time, puppy. But then again, maybe you don't love your grandma. Well, of course I love your grip. Hello? Hey, hello, grandma. Life was missing its mystique. My squeaky toys had lost their squeak. And then, out of the blue, I saw the phone, and bam! My destiny was calling me! Pitched my vision for a show, they loved it, thought I was a pro! They got my contract back to fine, to their alarm, a dog hit sign! Oh, I like that name. I didn't wait to renovate, found six contestants, all were great! And now I'm on the road to fame, I've got a game show and its name is... It's very catchy. It rolls off the tongue. Wait, stop. Somebody want to tell me why we got cat singing? And here come the contestants now. He has no desire to set a world record. Rosario. Her dream is to end world hunger. Nina. He writes his own song. And should probably write mine too. Willie! He'd be lonely on a deserted island. Mike! She loves the smell of Alfredo. That's not an Italian donkey, it's a cheese sauce. Maddie! The Kangamangas Highway is a scenic road in New Hampshire, and it's a big hit with Bridget. Let's get an update on the scores. Yeah! In sixth place, Maddie with an even 800 points. Nina in fifth place with 850 points. Bridget has dropped to fourth place. She's sliding at 855 points. Mike is up to third with 870 points. And we have a two-way tie for the top spot. Willie and Rosario each with 885 points. Hello and welcome to Fetch, the reality game show where we love our grandmothers. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, gang, big challenges today. Two contestants will be laying down tracks, while two other contestants will be laying down tracks. Here comes challenge number one, Triskaidekaphobia. What? What? Cool. It's the fear of the number 13. Oh. This is MC Kabir. What does Triskaidekaphobia and MC Kabir have to do with the challenge number one? Mike and Maddie, you're about to find yeah. out. Your instructions are in the mailbox. Go! Challenge number two. In the mailbox, there is an envelope. The envelope contains very little information, but it also contains two plane tickets to Disney World. Willie, Bridget, go fetch! We're on a plane? Awesome! Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Awesome. All right, well, thank you. See you, guys. Bye. Have a lot of fun. fun. As determined by the Fetch 3000, Rosario and Nina have stayed behind in the studio this week. But they'll be eligible to win points during the halftime quiz show. And worry not, the Fetch Fairness Guarantee is still in effect. All the contestants will have competed for the same number of points by the grand finale. For the four kids out of the challenges, up to 100 points are at stake in the triumph tally. So enough idle chit chat. Let's catch up with Maddie and Mike. Oh, cool. Oh man, what's going on? My name's Kabir, I'm a rapper and singer. Your challenge for today is to create a rap song for Ruff's grandma. That's right, it's a Grandparents Day present. And we're gonna play the song on the radio later today. What? Whoa. You have to include these five words. Artichoke, geranium, checkers, lentil soup, and triskaidekaphobia. These are grandma's favorite words. Good luck rhyming triskaidekaphobia. <laughs> now, don't be scared. Don't you guys worry about it. 
Whoa, what is this? How did we end up in Nepal? Oh, look at that mountain. That's so cool. Excuse me? Are you Bernie and Jason? Yeah. Yes, we are. Jackpot! Nice Bernie and Jason are Imagineers. They're real engineers with a cooler name. Your challenge is to design your very own roller coaster. <laughs> and you're going to learn a little bit about gravity and some other forces and movements that make coasters work. You up for that part? Yeah. So we're going to start with Expedition Everest, yeah. Legend of the Forbidden Mountain. So yes. You Expedition ready? Everest. Let's go. That sounds exciting! Before they design a roller coaster, they have to ride a few to see what they're like. So Expedition Everest sounds like a great learning experience for the fetchers. Yikes! Who? The roller coaster's in there? Maybe they should just ride It's a Small World instead. Hey! I'm ready! I'm ready! A Yeti? Blossom, what's that? Ah! So we're on a train. It's like a little passenger train that takes people up into the mountains so that they can go on expeditions. We're going up into the monastery that the monks live in at the base of the mountains in the Himalayas. So look at how high up we are. Yeah, so the gravity can pull you down and get you going. Roller coasters have come a long way since I was doing it. Here we go. Oh, look at that, see? Somebody's pulled up the track. It's broken! That's awesome. Here we go. We're going backwards! Yeah. Get ready, it's the big drop! So this is like all gravity? All gravity! Are you ready to see the Yeti? Yeah, I'm ready! Aren't that ready? ready? Bridget, this is so awesome! There he is! What is that? Blossom. Inertia is the tendency of moving objects to keep moving. Oh, well that means that after gravity gets the roller coaster going down the hill, it'll have enough inertia to keep going up the next hill. Gotcha. Rap is a combination of beats, rhymes, and creativity. So this instrument right here is a keyboard. Cool. It has all different kinds of drum sounds and percussion sounds. Oh, it's got like every drum sound in the world. That's cool. In order to actually create a song, we're gonna create a beat first. We're like boom, ba, boom, boom, ba. You're gonna start out picking some sounds. Ooh, I like that one. You're gonna hit this right here on beat number one and beat number three. One, go, two, Maddie, go. three, four. One, one two, nothing, three, three good. Four. One, two, oh, okay. one. Try it again. It's okay, no problem. Two, close, three, close, Maddie. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, uh, Matt, two, doing great. three. Excellent. Matt's doing Quick learner. So next, Michael, you're going to step up here, and you're going to choose a snare drum. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, Mike's got four. it. You're done. Maybe we should try and just have you guys experiment a little oh, bit. Okay. Oh, cool. Now they're experimenting with different sounds in order to jazz it up. Don't want to bore Grandma. Oh! Oh, that is fresh! For those of you at home, I like to break out the old lingo. Word and fresh and uh, groovy. Wait, I don't think they're using that one. So, welcome, Bridget and Willie, to Walt Disney Imagineering. Yeah, we call this room the Dreamer's Den, because this is one of the places that we come to to brainstorm new ideas. And that's what you guys are going to do today. One of the things that we do during our brainstorming sessions is research. The Imagineers actually went all the way to the Himalayas to go to the real Mount Everest. That's kind of a schlep. Now, what you guys did this morning was research for your ride, and now it's time to come up with your own ride, your own story. Whatever you come up with for your coaster is fine, but somewhere along the way, you have to work in a volcano. Oh, how many times have I heard that speech from Henry? Do whatever you want, Ruff. Just make sure you work a volcano in. Okay, boss. Now, you're going to have 10,000 feet of track, and Bernie's going to tell you some of the things that you can do with that track. You're going to have a high heel, so something that goes up quite extensively, because you need that energy to get started. Wait a minute, the coaster has no engine? Oh, duh. It's pulled uphill by a chain on the track. 
And when it gets to the top, gravity pulls it down the hill. Then you're going to have a loop um, where you go completely upside down. Or you can have a spiral, a camelback, which are just little humps. And then you have a bank curve, and I think you can handle a straight line. So what you guys are going to do is plot out your ride on these storyboards so that you can see the whole thing from start to finish. And with storyboards, you guys are using a really old movie technique, and that's how we plot out the action. It is time to brainstorm. Okay, so I was thinking that the first scene should be the entrance, like a hut. We could do like a car driving around and you spiral around. We might not have enough energy to like keep going around and around and around in circles. So I think that once we're outside of the volcano, I think we should go right into a loop. I'm getting nauseous just thinking about this. Back to the rappers. One, two, three, four. Yeah. I really like that. Ah, using the hi-hat symbol. Oh, Mike's laying down a bass groove. Life was missing its mystique, but squeaky toys had lost their squeak. Yeah. OK, now Willie and Bridget are going to try out their ideas with a model. Get this on first. OK, ready? Well, it looks like the hill wasn't high enough on that one. The roller coaster isn't getting enough energy from gravity to make it up the next hill. Wow! Gravity pulled the coaster down the hill, and inertia kept it going through the loop. Let's see that again. See, even though gravity is still pulling down on the coaster when it enters the loop, it has enough inertia to keep going up. So what we're trying to do here is we're going to try and create lyrics and rhymes. Let's think about what rhymes with soup. So we got group, loop, loop. She eats artichoke's bones and lentil soup. Her glasses are in the shape of a loop. OK, they just got artichoke and lentil soup into their song. Three more words to go. She had the lyric called Triskaidekaphobia. OK. Well, that's going to be a tough so, rhyme. So I'm Triskaidekaphobia. It takes a lot to be like you. Oh, wait, that's brilliant. I think it takes a lot to be like you. Good. There's still two words on that list that you haven't used yet. I had some ideas. Oh. Grandma Ruffman, she loves geranium. She always thinks and uses her cranium. She loves to cook and to play checkers, but instead of walking, she rides double-deckers. I like that right. a lot. That sounds I'll awesome. Check off, well, that fixes that right there. So we have all the words incorporated into the rap. Oh, hi, Ruff Ruffman here, back in Studio G with Nina and Rosario. That's us. Awesome. Time to get some points of your own. <laughs> Half time quiz show. Let's go over the rules. 50 points are available. You work together as a team. You have 90 seconds to answer as many questions as you can. There will be 10 questions available at five points apiece. Are you ready? Yes! Then let's get this quiz started. What is the name of the legendary monster that lives on Mount Everest? Yeti! Exactly. If they include a high hill for the roller coaster, Bridget and Willie will be taking advantage of what force? Oh, gravity! Dynamite! Yes! True or false, roller coaster cars don't contain any motors. True! True! Aces! Yes! How did Bridget and Willie fix their model roller coaster so that it could make it through the loop? Oh, they had to build the stacks higher and higher. Nice, nice! Name three roller coaster track components. Um, the loop? The loop? Right? The spiral and the straightaway! That's good, good, yes. you got it! Bridget and Willie use a method borrowed from movie making to map out the action of the roller coaster Sorry, before. Sorry, Sorry, Sorry. Wow, I didn't even finish that one. Name four of the five words or phrases I assign Mike and Maddie to use in their song. Oh, I got this one. I got this one. Okay, lentil soup, artichoke, triskaidekaphobia, checker, and checkers. What does the word triskaidekaphobia mean? What are the two main components of a rap song? Oh. Ah. <laughs> the beginning and the end. We're done, but boy. It's exciting to watch. You're out of time. Wow. I would tell you something. My heart was going out of my throat. It was crazy. Let's go over the one you missed. What are the two main components of a rap song? Lyrics and beats. Okay. So that's a grand total of 40 points. Oh, nice awesome. job, guys. And now let's get back to Willie and Bridget, who hopefully are far away from that Yeti. So what did you imagine here for us? OK, well, our theme is in Hawaii. Yeah, the chain pulls it up, up this hill, over the volcano. Oh, great, like you're on a tour. Yeah. Right, and oh. then... Tour of the volcano. The volcano starts to erupt. That would ruin a vacation. Then it's going to take them backwards. 
almost like you did on Everest. Yeah. Right. And then this is steep enough so that they just fall. And everybody starts screaming. And you drop down, and it goes underground. Uh, it has enough speed just to go right into this loop. Can we test that? Yeah. yeah. OK, let's see how that goes. We want to make sure we have enough energy to get from here all the way around the loop. Is that correct? Oh, there'll be plenty of energy. Don't you worry. And now gravity's going to take over from here. Is that right? Yep. All right. Oh, wow. Boom! It worked. Great job. Okay, so you think you're getting on a, a train for a peaceful tour around the volcano site, but then something goes horribly wrong, because it always does. <laughs> and then we go inside the volcano and have an adventure we didn't expect. Nobody expects to go into a volcano. It's just not something you count on. <clears throat> Hey, guys, it's Rob. Hey, Rob. Wow, you guys designed a really cool coaster. Looks like an awesome ride. It's got twists, turns, lava. I got one more step for you. You are going to ride your roller coaster in a roller coaster simulator. That's not all. You're going to have to test it on the public as well. So good luck, guys. All right, time for the rappers to lay it down on tape. Other tricks and bones and lentil soup. Her glasses are in the shape of a loop. She has what we call Trisha Degaphobia and Grandma Rothman. It takes a lot to be like your grandmas. They give you money and they're the ones who call you honey. They make me laugh. They're so funny and they keep the food inside my tummy. You know what this rap Rothman. needs? She loves Some scratches. Wings. She always thinks and uses that. her cranium. She loves to cook ah, and play checkers. But instead of walking, she rides double duck. Give me a GRA. GRA. Come on, Blossom! Get your grandma, groove on! Grandma, 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 hey, what'd you say? Hey, I smell a Grammy! Say? Oh, I didn't mean you, Grandma. You, you, you smell fine. We still have one more thing we need to do, though. Yeah? We gotta play your song on the radio. We gotta play our jam for Grandma! This is our roller coaster simulator, so we're gonna take everything that you designed back at Imagineering and input it into the simulator. Now, Fetch 3000, I don't want you to get jealous here, but this is a pretty cool gadget. What do you mean you have a simulator, too? You're gonna tell me these things. I don't have time to read the manual. Line I have the lava. That's perfect for your volcano. High hill. High hill. Spiral. Okay, there you go. Now we can do the loop. All right, Bridget, you ready to ride this? Oh, this is so cool. So Willie and Bridget programmed the twists and turns of their ride into the simulator, and now the simulator will copy those movements. It'll be just like riding a real roller coaster. And I'm going to be riding along with them in the Fetch 3000 roller coaster simulator. Fetch 3000, download their roller coaster program. Blossom, you might want to stand back. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, man, I am picking up speed. Pretty cool. Yeah. Getting lots of energy going. Here we go. Over the top. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh twisting right. and turning. Oh. Wow, for a simulation, it sure does make your hair move for real. Oh, oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here we go. Uh, what's this? Is that a loop? Blossom. Oh. Oh. I want to get off. I want to get off. I want to get off. I think I lost off. Glasses. Oh, I'm still dizzy. Oh, sorry, Blossom. Didn't see you. What, what do you think? I loved it. I think it needed to be faster and more thrill because we just went straight for a lot of the time. So, so you, you know, want to make some modifications yes, to the yes, beginning, maybe? Definitely. Yeah. Hi, I'm Jasmine. Wow, Jasmine's a DJ. I heard you guys wrote a rap song. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go check it out, make sure everything's cool, and I'll be right back, okay? Hello, Grandma? Hello, dear. You are about to receive your Grandparents' Day gift. Is it an artichoke? No. Brussels sprouts? Grandma, it isn't a vegetable. You're listening to your favorite radio station, right? Of course, dear. Oh, good. OK, um, I'm not quite sure what's wrong, but the CD isn't wrong? working. There's, there's no vocals. Oh, no. No vocals. I better get in touch with them. Hello. Hello, guys. Hey, it's me, Ruff. Listen, I know this is a lot of pressure, but you're going to have to jump in there and sing it live. Now, I know oh, you can snap. do it. Your attitude is critical, OK? If you guys treat it like it's something you can't do, you're not going to be able to do it, OK? Tell me you can do this. I can do it. Tell me you can do this. I don't know. Don't be scared, guys. I know you can do it. Now let's check back in with Willie and Bridget's redesign. So you think it's ready for our guests to test out? Yeah. Because yeah, they're going to rate you. 
You, it's ready? Yeah. All right. All right. Well, let's see what they say, and congratulations, because you guys are honorary Imagineers. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Great Maybe job, guys. Today, yeah, it's really, really fun. Yeah. Here we go. The Woo! first two go. testers. Oh, <laughs> 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 they like the loop. Look at that. Thumbs up or thumbs down? I think the public's liking it. Let's up. see. Yeah. All two right. thumbs up. Next. Okay. Okay, here come two more. Ah, they're laughing. That's a good sign. Thumbs up, thumbs up. That down. makes four thumbs up. Yeah. Hey. Oh, these guys look like they know what they're doing. Are you ready to ride the roller coaster? Hey, we got a yeller. I think I can see his tonsils. Thumbs up again. That makes six. Everybody loves it. All right, my little fetching ears. Head on back to Studio G. All right, we'll be right there. What's up, everybody? This is 88.9. I have special guests in with me today. Hey, yo, what's up? This is Mike. Hey, I'm Maddie. And I'm so excited. You guys ready to rock it? Yeah. All right, let's What are they going go. to rock? Grandma, happy grandparents' day. Yo, this is Mike and Maddie from Fetch with Rough Rough Men, and this is our jam from Grandma's Everywhere. Pre-show plug. Shh, be quiet, Ruffy. It's for me. Part of the lyrics. Big ups to Ruff and Grandma Ruff. May peace out. Them dogs have left the building. Excellent. What'd you think, Grandma? How oh, it was wonderful. Oh, how they got their little bubble of grooves on. It was fantastic. And now, coming back to Studio G, Rap Masters Maddie and Mike. Hey, hey guys. Hi. You guys are so good. That was awesome. <laughs> Big ups to the two of you. <laughs> Overcoming gravity and utilizing inertia, here come Willie and Bridget! Hey, yeah! What's up, man? We sure have fun. Yeah. Yeah. Triumph tally time! Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Willie and Bridget for bravely testing hair raising, stomach turning coasters, 10 points! Yeah, you got it! Another 30 points for designing your own coaster and for testing with a model to make sure it worked, an additional 15 points! And in the end, a coaster is only as good as the screams. Whoa! 20 points for you two. Yeah, guys. For a grand total of 75 points. Yeah. Nicely done, nicely done. Now then, Maddie and Mike, you got all five of the required words in your song. That's 25 points. And you overcame fear to rap live on the radio. G-R-A. G-R-A, N-D-M-A. We were kind of scared at first. You get 30 points for that. Yeah! Nice. nice. But the real test is, what did Grandma think? Oh, Ruffy. Oh, that song was so beautiful. Yeah. Oh, it is the best Grandparents Day gift I've ever gotten. Oh, you kids are just darling. It's the hippest, hippity, hip-hop song I've ever heard. Oh, my God. Well, Grandma's vote is in. You got yourself 30 points. Yeah! Oh, no. For a grand total of 85 points. All right. awesome. Is that all the points a dog can give? No. What time is it? Bonus points. 
That's right, bonus point time. Mike found a rhyme for an obscure seven-syllable word. Chiskidekophobia. She has what we call Chiskidekophobia and Grandma Ruffman. It takes a lot to be like a... That is five bonus points for you, my friend, which means... Mike! With 90 points, you're today's daily winner. Good job, Michael. Now, Mike, behind one of these two yetis, there's a fantastic prize. Behind the other yeti... Disappointment. Which abominable snowman will it be? What do you got? What do you got? What do you I'm gonna go with A. Mike, you know where the prize is? In the mailbox. Come get it. Go, Michael. Uh -oh. Rough wrapping paper. That's right. Why rough? That's oh, wrapping really paper. Really As in wrap wrapping. All right, guys. Great show. Until next time, see ya! Bye! Oh, hi. Grandma's loaned me Jerry for the day. And after 215 straight losses, Blossom, I think I finally got this bird on the ropes. Ha! You have only one checker left, Jerry. You may as well give up now. Wait, what are you doing? No, no, stop! Stop! Ah, king me, Bobby! But I was close! Oh, man, I was so close! I had you! What's this? Oh, an artichoke. Thanks, Blossom. What are you looking at, bird brain? Yeah, 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 yeah